How you doing guys? This is Joss from Kingdom DTF. Welcome one more time to the channel and if this is your first time stopping by, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button and share with anyone because here we have knowledge about DTF printing, direct to film printing. So I'm making this quick video guys because there have been a lot of people asking me about our films. What is the difference between our premium films versus other brands out there maybe that you have tried and it's not working for you and you want to try our Kingdom DTF uh, films and why it's a premium. So let me show you. <clears throat> so premium is because it got a premium coating, first of all, okay? And second of all, uh, it's premium hybrid because you can cold peel warm peel or hot peel so instead of buying a hot peel film or a cold peel film to have both at the same time you just can get one of the premium sheet from us or a package and uh, you can peel it the way you want you know so we got two types one of them it's going to be the glossy one. We got two types of films. So one is going to be the glossy one on the back, as you can see here. I hope the light is reflecting. And then you got your coating premium. That is the one that you, you print on it. And then the other one is a double side or mate uh, film. The only difference from that one is that the backing, instead of being glossy, is going to be more like frosty. It's going to be more like opaque but apart from that both uh, of the films uh, work the same way if you want to press and hold peel or just wait just a, uh, maybe 10 seconds and peel it off as a warm or if you want to put it on the side and then you can peel a cold peel okay <clears throat> so uh, people have been asking me which one is my favorite and to be honest I like both um, but the, my customers, the way I see the customer purchasing and, you know, for my experience, uh, the matte one, the, you know, the double side, people use it more on converters printers because the printers got a sensor. And that sensor, when it comes to the glossy one, sometimes the sensor cannot catch um, this because it's too glossy, it's too clear. So for that reason, the other one, the mate, uh, the mate, or double side, if you want to like it, call it that way, uh, people use it more on converter printers like the LNT 100, the P400, P600, 800, XP50, 50,000, 3080, any desktop printers. Now, when it's like one of these printers that is a dual head printers or it's a roll system, uh, in that one, it's up to you which one you want to like, uh, to use, to be honest. Uh, I like to use the glossy one because there's no reason to use for me the, the, the mate one on a dual head printers because I'm not going to have ever, ever problems. Uh, for example, I know that the converter printers sometimes tend to skip the films. And again, that is because the sensor of the printer. So a tip, this is a tip for you by experience. Uh, when you see the sensor of the printer, you go to see the wheel, that is the one that, with the clips, that is the one that grabbed the film. So there's going to be a piece, a white piece, plastic piece over there. That's the sensor. So as a tip, go ahead and put some masking tape on that sensor and that way you're going to eliminate, or at least 90%, you're going to eliminate any films to be skipping or going through uh, your printer. Also, don't forget to put at least maybe 10 papers on the back of, if you put, if you put it only one, don't forget to put at least 10 papers on the back to add a little bit more of support. So this is going to help also the film to be grab it more easy by the printer and you're going to have less skipping or as you can say ejecting that film okay so that's something that you know happens with the with the desktop printer sometimes because as you can see you know these type of uh, films 
they are super thin, so they're, they're 75. This one also come in 100, but to be honest, uh, for this printer, I think it's going to be too thicker. So uh, if you want to try 100, uh, maybe you want to try it on a printer like this one that is a roll system that there's nothing stopping or anything like that. Okay, uh, so that's the difference between the two films, you know. And I'm going to print something here with our RCC profile that we did for the 912. Uh, we did it for our inks. Also, uh, people uh, that have been purchasing similar printers, they are using Catlink. And they, they have been using our drivers from the 912 with our RCC and they're you know, purchasing our DTF inks. Um, to run their printers, so that's something that's really nice. Even uh, that person did not, or those persons did not, uh, get a printer through us. But at least they have something good, like an ICC profile that match super, super good the colors of the DTF printing. That is something that we're going to discuss later during the the channel because a lot of people say, oh, I'm printing these with the LT100, but the inks are not matching or all these or that. And the reason is because it's recommended that you have an ICC profile for the inks you're using to match as much as possible uh, that those colors while you're seeing on your screen of, well, not the screen, um, matching the colors of the design because the screen is also that if you don't calibrate your screen, uh, also it's got to be different colors, you know? But if when you have everything calibration, uh, it's got to be something really nice, okay? Also, uh, we planning to talk more about different methods, maybe uh, what is like, what is what is like, what are those papers that I see, but I don't have any idea. So we're sending what is light on our website and we're going to start making more video about what is light uh, so people can understand it. That's another printing method that you can print with an inkjet printer. Uh, you can use regular inks, you can use pigment inks, or if you got the what is light that is for laser, you can use your color laser printer, or in this case, I got a black one that is the one I'm going to be using uh for a few samples later and uh, you go to see how that works and it's something really nice you know um to make mugs um different stuff really quick you know compared to to sublimation or something like that okay uh because as you know in this channel we start our channel that we want to help people to start their business from home making t-shirts with the heat vinyl, if you go all the way back, you will see only one video that we did with the heat vinyl, but then we jumped to the DTG uh, uh, supplies and DIY DTG machine that we had um, for about maybe, uh, we can say maybe almost a year. And then we jumped to uh, to DTF as we, we doing right now, you know, regular, you know, with all the supplies we sell on our website, okay? So let's go guys, print the samples uh, on this printer that is on the back of me. Uh, I'm going to press it on the black shirt so you can see it. I'm going to hot peel, then the other side, I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to uh, cold peel. So you can see the difference that is not going to change how you peel it with our DTF a premium film, okay? So stay tuned, guys. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to try to do this with one hand, so let's see. So basically, this is the film, but it's a premium film. Um, you be able to peel it <coughs> excuse me hot or cold so let me do this because I think it's super hot right now so let's see ah, wow, 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 wow. and there you go hot peeling with a premium Um, Kingdom DTA uh, films, uh, super clean. So we're going to press this again for the final press. Remember that you press for 15 seconds the first time. You peel, cold peel or hot peel. Then the second press. It's got to be 10 to 15, 15 more. So you can have that. So that one is ready to go. Uh, so far, the colors are looking fine. This is the new ICC profile that we did for the night 12. Okay. So now we're going to press another one, but this one we're going to basically uh, do a cold peel so you can see um, the two versions of the basically the film how it works all right that was the first press so because I don't want to do a hot peel for this one, so basically I need to remove it from here and put it on a place that, you know, get cold, okay? Okay, so I just moved to another area that I just letting this cool down. It's, it's the same film. So you saw already that I did a hot peel and then this one is got to be a cold peel with the same film, okay? So like I was mentioned, this is the new ICC profile that we did for the 912. Uh, so far, the color looking good. Uh, the gradients, white to dark, and then, you know, the colors, and you got here the white. So let me try to focus there. No? Okay, maybe it doesn't want to focus. There we go. So uh, that's the white. And um, if you can see, uh, we got 35 PT, 30, 25, 20, uh, 15. I think the 15 uh, is the most the small that I can, you know, you're going to be able to do on any DTF. 
to be honest. Uh, I think 10 is too small, too small. And five, five, you're not going to see it. So I think 15 PT, when you do testing, uh, you when you know when you decide your design and you want to do some test uh, text or something like that, um, I think you can go this all the way down to 15 and it's got to be good as you can see here. Um, looks good. So we're going to stretch this just in a moment, but let me go ahead and copy this one, okay? And there we go. So that one is already cold. Uh, it came clean again. So, um, as you saw, this is the Kingdom DTF transfer films that you can use any way you like. You know, if you want to use a hot peel, like I did, you can use it. If you want to use a cold peel, you can use it too. Even warm, you can use it too. Uh, that means that you press it and instead of do a hot peel right away, just leave it, you know, just a, maybe 10 seconds more that you touch it and it's hot, but it, you know, you're not going to get burned your hands or anything like that. And you can go ahead and peel it too. Or just like I did this one, let it cool down when it's cold and just go ahead and peel it. But basically, um, is the same. It's no brainer to have this type of films because you can use it there any way you want. So if you like to cold peel better, so you leave it, you know, co cooling down. If you like to just press it and just peel it right away or just warm, you can do it too. So in this case, it, you know, this film is so versatile that I think you're going to like it. So I just move uh, a little bit the camera, you know, back so you can see uh, this. So remember that this one was the, this one on, on the right side was the hot peel and this one on the left side was the cold peel. And if you can see, it looks the same. And just for, you know, for fun, like always, we got to do the stretchability of the DTF and see if it's going to crack or not. you can see it's not cracking or anything like that also here also if you can see printed with dtf 15 pt i think this one is the smallest size that you can go for dtf that is going to be visible and it's going to be okay if you go smaller than this one maybe you're going to have problems but so far, you know, in the testing, you can see stretchability. And you know, we, we use our, our, our supplies. The same stuff that we sell on our website is the same stuff we are um, using um, to print samples like these and to press and to make, you know, when a customer uh, just ask or, or something like that. Okay, guys. So I hope guys this video found you well. Remember to subscribe to the channel again. Uh, hit the like button. Share with your friends or uh, anyone that is looking for DTS transfers or direct to film uh, information. Uh, just remember to keep printing. All right, guys. See you in the next video.